So I just saw Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, and it was fucking awesome. 7 out of 10. I liked it for reasons that not many people would like a movie for. Particularly hilarious Nicolas Cage screaming and taking drugs, and it was a lot like Crank, particularly because it's made by the directors of Crank. And like Crank, it was self-aware. If you walk into this movie taking it way too seriously, you're probably not going to enjoy it. Basically, the reactions I had to the movie were... Th this is how I looked the whole time. Mixed with... And mixed with... <laughs> But the people behind us were snickering just as much as we were. They totally knew that this was an awesome Nick Cage movie. The only guy that didn't was, like, sitting in the row in front of us, and I just assumed that he, you know, must have been there because he read the comic book. But this movie says, fuck the comic book. I don't, I've never even read the comic book, and I already know this movie says, fuck the comic book. It doesn't even fucking matter. There's no story. They started it out with just action. It doesn't, the story's irrelevant. It doesn't even matter. And that's great, because that's all the movie wants to be. This is... I love these directors, and I'm gonna buy it. 7 out of 10. Fuck your dick with a cactus. Plus, uh, all of the animation in it was a lot better than the first movie. Uh, in the first movie, the flaming skull is really... It, it, it's it's pivoting like on a joint. It's it's very obviously like shit animation. It's like all oh, out of mercy. But in this one, there's actually character. There's uh, it has a personality. The the skull, the, the the ghost rider, and Nick Cage is actually playing it, so it works. And it's just fucking sweet. It's actually. A lot of parts were pretty intimidating where they should have been. The entire thing is, yes, a laugh fest, or even a snicker fest, but at the same time, where they tried to make the Ghost Rider look badass, I thought he looked pretty fucking badass. The directors are stylistic, and they can make even something as simple as a phone conversation visually stimulating. Some great camera work, it was awesome. I hope I caught my face this time.